Hey, Chris. Can I ask you? Oh, yeah, you can go first. Have the microphone、mm-hmm. lowered from the ceiling like、mm-hmm. those announcers、yeah. at boxing matches. Cool. I can ask you a question real quick, though. I want to recreate your indoor self portrait video and use part of your video as my intro. Is that okay? Everybody, to this special episode、cool. on my. But could you answer my question first? Oh. So we're just gonna ignore it. Cool, 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 cool. cool. All right, My gotcha. I see. Go Canada. I'm not from Canada. Hi. I was inspired by Chris Chu's quarantine self-portraits videos, and I want to create my own version of it. In a nutshell, his video puts his self-portraits into three categories: edginess, color, and prop. So for my video, I'm going to follow the same order of these themes. Go watch Chris Chu's videos. He has an amazing channel. He's a photographer. He is currently in San Francisco. So I guess Chris, if you're watching this, I hope I get to work with you someday, and I hope to see you in real life. I really like this background. Let's see what we can do with it. I don't really like this. The theme for this group. Is color. Ryan Little. <laughs> This idea came from photographer YouTuber Mark Klaus, and I probably butchered his last name. He made this look super easy in his video, but given that I'm incredibly bad at crafting with my clumsy hands, I of course failed two times. First time, the plastic wrap was too short and the painted stripe was too high, so it basically only works for a horse face person. The second time, I painted the stripe after I hung the wrap on the sliding door frame. It was okay, but as you can tell from my T Rex hands, the wrap is still quite short. Finally, third time is the charm, and ta-da! Since the last photo wasn't my original idea. I want to try something new. By the way, if I look strange to you, that's because you're right on top of me, like literally. This is how you look like. I don't have a overhead rig for this shot, so I had to improvise. I clutched my camera on this clothes hanger thing and balancing it using this rope so the camera can be parallel to the ground. Can you tell what this prop is? Why is it not focused? I like this. This looks like I'm in a movie. The setup for this photo is honestly the easiest out of all the photos in this video. But the result is pretty amazing. I would say it turns out to be better than some of the other photos. Just simple as this. Wrap your lights around the camera, and mwah, you've got that sweet, sweet shot.、But、the next prop that I have over here is, ta-da! This giant yet small couch that I have here、it、doesn't have any pattern on it. It has just a very simple gray tone to it. I know, I know, using a couch as a prop is kind of cheating, but you know what? Deal with it. If you don't like it, just quit watching my videos. No, no, no! I'm just kidding. Please don't click off, and please keep watching until the end. My camera is about to die, so I'm just gonna do some quick quirky one. Caroline, that's not quirky. That's just fucking weird. Stop it. Well, my background is not as neat as those. Professional photographers studios. This is what you have, and just work with what you have. I'm sure you can find a creative way to alter your photos to the ones that you actually want. I encourage you to find the simplest item that you have in your house and just take photos of it. I mean, with you in it too, because this is a self-portrait video. I mean, you can also just take the photo of the item. But anyway. Edginess. It's the easiest one because I can just have no facial expression at all, and then it becomes edgy. Plus, I haven't washed my hair today.、Oh! It's super messy and greasy, so it's perfect for this theme. And I want to wear like comfy clothes. Comfy clothes fits into the edgy. 
category, I think. And it's about 4.30 p.m. So we have some leftover light from the daytime. It's, it's a little dark. Let me just do... Look at the light spot. This is fucking amazing. I love this. But it's just, it's not hitting on my face. Maybe go here. All right, let me just turn you over here. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna try one more technique. I'm gonna try to use a prop, which is ta da! Oh, can you see yourself? I'm gonna try to reflect the light in different directions, see if we can create an edgy mood. Something like this. The sun is pretty much out of my window range. I could have come here and shoot this earlier when the lights is like all over my face, but <laughs> not gonna tell you I was napping earlier. Let's see what I can work with. All right. Let's come over to the editing um, fun zone. Yay. I mainly use Snapseed for all my photo editing. I got super comfortable with it over the years, but I recently bought Lightroom Premium and I want to try it out for the first time. There's not really a reason for this change. They're both equally powerful editing tools. I was just curious about Lightroom because you know, all the cool kids are using it these days. I might switch back to Snapseed though because I am a broke bitch and can't afford Adobe. Not gonna lie though, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to photo editing. I toggle around different handles and see which settings I like the most. Then there it is. I am in a different outfit. That's because I forgot to shoot this segment in the original video, even though it was on my notes for this whole time. I want to show you my favorite photographer YouTubers whom I drew a lot of inspiration from. So the first one is Mango Street. I believe both of them are from Indiana. Go Hoosiers! I've been following them for quite some time. My favorite video of them is their wedding photo shoot at Faroe. Wait, how do you pronounce? Faroe Island while wearing black wedding dress. The second YouTuber I like a lot is Jeffy Drift Jesse Driftwood. I found his tips and tricks on photographer really really helpful and I also love his way of storytelling in his videos. Bizarre month it has been. And the next one is Surreal Amore. I'm also a fan of her for quite some time, especially her advanced selfie series. All of these photos are taken by herself. Can you believe that? And then Mark Claus, as I mentioned before. <laughs> I just realized that because I haven't watched Annie's video before this, so I call him the stripe guy in the notes because, you know, I did his stripe idea. He does a lot of creative self-portrait videos. You shouldn't miss this video if you're super into self-portraits. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Of course, there are still many very talented photographer YouTubers. Comment below and tell me who's your favorite. Like, right now. Go. Stop watching it and go. I wouldn't consider this a tutorial because, how do I say this? Um, I am an uh, amateur, but feel free to take my ideas and use them to create your own version of it. The whole point of this video is to document my creative process, so I encourage you to have your own creative practices. I have to admit, some of the photos turns out to be but given the equipment, the non-studio studio that I have over here, those are the best I can do, so I have no regrets. Obviously, there are still a lot of improvements can be made on my photography skills. Feel free to comment any advice or tips on how to take better self-portrait photos. I would love to learn from all of you. Please like and subscribe this video. Your support means so much to the channel and to me. I've been following them for quite some... Ah! I've been I've been following them. I've been following. I've been following them for quite some time. Oh god! Oh my god! No. <laughs> the way he's. Oh my god! The lighting. No. Stripe guy. Stripe guy. Stripe guy. Stripe guy. Stripe guy. Do we ninety eight? Trust that he be good. On the ball like BB, don't make no mistakes. Got the faith.
The 18 just not gonna be the same. Finna be down generations, not gonna be in vain. Too young. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta go? I just wanna know. I just wanna know now. Too numb. Crying, getting old. Crying, getting old. Hope you free your soul. Hope you free your soul.